I've already gone through once to try to wake up all my kids. And here's the current status. Miles. Hey you guys, I'm Jessie B from Life with Jessie B. I figured I'd go ahead and just voice over this part because I'm just getting ready and I figured it'd be easy that way. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a working mom of four kids um, and on my channel you'll find a lot of content related to essential oil education, um, natural lifestyle, DIY home projects, and some home cooked meals that are some favorites of my family. So for today's video, I wanted to show you guys what it's like to get a family of six ready for family pictures. Um, we did a really fun, um, it's called the Porch Project, and uh, with everything going on, a lot of local photographers are coming up and they stay at the street, they take pictures of your family on the porch or in your yard, and then... Um, you get your picture so it's really quick and easy for them it's really quick and easy for us everyone's at a safe distance and with mother's day um for when this video went out mother's day was a few weeks ago and i realized that i the last family picture i had of my whole family was when my youngest was like two weeks old and he's eight now so i decided you know that day i went and booked something because i just couldn't handle it any longer so a little backstory on why this is really such a hassle with me working from home now and my husband not being an essential worker, being at work, I'm left home alone to work all day plus to try and homeschool for kids. So to kind of help make that work, we let our kids sleep in during the day so I can get a good four hours and of work kind of uninterrupted and then once the kids wake up I can you know start to help them get started on their homeschooling so our pictures were at 9 45 and so this was kind of early for them to wake up I've already gone through once to try to wake up all my kids and here's the current status Miles Miles let's get dressed and go eat breakfast Let's go to another one. It's gonna be fun. Kingston! He has fallen up into a burrito. We took all his covers off of him earlier. <gasps> Is there a baby boy under there? Kingston! He likes to sleep with a lot of covers. Are you going to wake up? Covers off. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Come on. All right, there was the last one. Andy's out of his room. His room is disgusting. But I've got no kid. And my daughter. She's in a Zoom meeting, so I can't bug her. So I'm gonna get started on my makeup. I've got two kids up. My little one's still asleep, so hopefully once I know with my makeup, we'll have four kids up. So getting started on my makeup, I usually do a pretty light makeup, but I wanted to have a little bit more color, and since I haven't gotten a ton of color lately, y'all, even brown people get color too, I decided I'd go with a little bit darker um, foundation and I never wear foundation but I wanted to try to do something for the pictures a little more than what I usually do and can you guys tell my hair goes flat so easy like I, I curled it 15 minutes prior and it's already starting to go flat and I usually don't use hairspray I like to use a lot of chemicals like that but my hair it, it just doesn't hold a curl and it was overcast and Looked like it was going to rain, so I really wanted to try to do something to get it to hold the curl. And do you guys use Q-tips for make? like whenever you mess up on your makeup? If you guys do, leave me a comment below because my husband thinks it's so weird. But I'd like to know what you guys do when you make little mess ups in your makeup if you use Q-tips too. I always feel like it's just perfect. It fixes whatever I need it to fix. I don't like my eyebrows to be too dark when I color them in, so I always do that and go over them. All right, you guys, so I just got done trying to style up and spruce up our front porch a little bit. So I like how I have 
my trellis over here with my um, plant starting to climb and I've got some pink petunias there then I have some more over here to kind of counterbalance the pink and pink and then back here I just brought my peonies outside that I got they were cut from my grandma's yard then to balance it I've got some more petunias over here and this is a project I'm still working on hopefully to bring you guys soon but it's turning out really good just have to get through some logistical things um, so the front porch area is set up I was just trying to trip over something hoping to create some balance in the space but I guess we shall see I have all four kids awake and we have three or four kids dressed I believe so I call that a win so with these pictures since I kind of did them last minute and I didn't want to go out to shop for anything um, so I don't really think it's essential I wanted family pictures we have clothes it's whatever I just told my kids to dress and whatever just don't wear clothes with holes in them and everyone came out looking the way they did my daughter literally got out of the shower seconds before this happened she got toothpaste on her shirt and her shirt was all wet so we were able um, to get a picture on the porch then we moved out and as you guys can see it's starting to rain here um, so there went my hair and all of my grand ideas because I have naturally curly hair and water just doesn't work well with my hair so then she did uh, she did a lot of pictures with just the kids and if any of y'all are local I'll give you her information um, won't be helpful if you're not local but I will give you your information just leave me a comment below and I tried to set my camera up out of the way so that way I could just kind of film some of it so you guys can get kind of a behind the scenes look at this my boys are tickling each other there and then she got some individuals of the kids which I think I can't wait to see how they turned out because I know just from recording they look absolutely adorable these kids are such hams and I, I honestly can't believe everyone got up and got ready because they're used to sleeping in till almost noon every day and to get them up and ready and dressed and smiling at 9 45 in the morning that's a miracle in our house I don't know what your guys' house looks like but it's a miracle in our house and then she got one with them out in the yard by the tree and here's one I captured at the end so if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.